Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm very excited about this video today. Uh, what I have here is the Funko Cyber Monday Blind Bundle box. Uh, we're gonna tear into this in a minute. There's 12 pops, I guess, total. There's a, uh, a 10 inch uh, add icons and then 11 pops that are a complete mystery to me. Before we go in, I wanna talk about this box. I've got something in my eye. So, in years past, uh, Funko has done the 12 days of Christmas. And basically what they what it is is every you know weekday leading up to Christmas they would have a new uh, limited edition pop release. And over the years, I mean there's been some cool ones. There's been, you know, uh, a lot of cool Batman pops, a lot of cool anime pops. Um, usually limited to somewhere between 1,000 and 5,000 pieces, but they release one a day for those 12 days. Usually on Cyber Monday, they give you an opportunity to just blind buy the whole bundle, uh, you know, before it sells out, you can buy the whole thing. You don't know what you're getting, but you can get all of them. I've always wanted to do it, but in years past, I just haven't been able to. You know, last year we were building the house. Uh, the year before that, I built the gaming rig. Uh, and then in the years before that, I wasn't really buying up pops. I was, you know, I get a couple WWE ones, a couple DC ones, you know, Superman or Green Arrow, something like that. But I wasn't buying in mass so to speak or just sort of um everything right I, I certainly wasn't doing blind boxes i would never back then buy a blind box that was completely foreign to me uh at that time um the wednesday before this box released there was a pop-up exclusive of the day uh you it happens on most wednesdays and it was a metallic toucan sam and it was supposed to be for charity. This thing sold out in like three seconds. Um, my, to myself included, I didn't get one. I was in the checkout line and it goes to the part where you put in your payment information and it said sold out. So of course, the Funko community was up in arms. They were absolutely livid that they couldn't get one. Um, they were convinced that, you know, bots had bought everything up and, uh, you know, they were already being listed on eBay for like $1,000. So, you know, obviously the people that bought them saw that there was this huge demand and immediately was like, well, I don't want it that bad. I'm going to sell it. Maybe some of those people intended to sell it from the get-go. Maybe they didn't, but they were being sold for, you know, a hundred times markup what they originally went for. Funko, at least on the internet, let me clarify this, at least on the internet, Funko fans are hilarious. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to get a lot of heat for this. I'm going to get some pretty nasty comments i'm sure for this but it is what it is we need, we need to be we need to acknowledge the reality of of things um funko fans on the internet i want to specify on the internet are pissed when something is limited edition and they can't get one and conversely pissed when something's mass produced and it's not worth anything i said this before in an earlier video every collector collects something sure because they like it but everybody collects with this presumption that at some point in the future it's going to be worth something to somebody either to sell or to trade or to show off i mean if if you're collecting a bunch of junk the, the main thing about collecting is you want to share your collection you want to show your collection to people if you're not collecting anything anybody cares about there's nobody to show it to so on some level um every collector wants their collection to be worth something, okay? As we were coming towards Cyber Monday, it was just nothing but negativity towards Funko on the internet. And basically what they did is they dropped this box and they said, hey, we're not doing 12 days of summer. It's a blind box and this is your opportunity to get it. And I grabbed it. I didn't care. I was already I was already committed to grabbing it. Um, I thought it would probably still sell out. I don't know how what the quantity of these are that they made. Um, in the past, like I said, it's been a five thousand or less. I've seen numbers for this box upwards of twenty five thousand, but I think that's just a bunch of people kind of making stuff up. Uh, as a wrestling fan, uh, living in a world where dirt sheets and basically making shit up is par for the course for the entire history of the industry. Um, I don't buy links, or not links, sorry, leaks. 
I don't buy leaks. Oh, you know, it's somebody leaked out that there's da 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 and, and you know, it reinforces what I want to believe, so it must be true. I don't go for that. So I have no idea how many of these they made. I can tell you right now it is not sold out. Um, I suspect what they'll end up doing is still doing something similar to the 12 days of Christmas. Maybe not the exact same thing they've done in the past, but something similar. And I think when people see what's in the box, they're going to jump all over it and this thing's going to sell it immediately and they're all going to wish that they had just bought the bundle. The 10 inch pop that's in here, which we'll get into right now and I'll show you, I've already sold it. Uh, I said, I think if you follow me on Twitter, you already saw, I don't do the 10 inch pops. Um, they're just too damn big. I'm not into them. Um, there's only been two, I can't get through the packing slip back here. There's only been two that I've ever seen that I was like, oh yeah, actually three. Um, that I, I was like, yeah, I want that. One was the uh, Green Goblin from Into the Spider-Verse. It was just this giant mass, it was so cool looking. But I still never got it. I mean, it was ridiculous, like 40 bucks or something. Uh, and the other one is, there's like a 20 inch Batman that's $100 and the thing is just, I, I mean, I can't even get in the frame. It's it's ginormous. It's ridiculous. This thing's awesome. I've seen videos of it in unboxings. This thing is super cool. But I'm not paying 100 bucks for it. That's ridiculous. So I went ahead and listed the 10-inch pop that's in here. Because, again, I didn't want it. It's already sold. Um, and it sold for about a quarter of what I paid. Eh, yeah, about a quarter, maybe fifth of what I paid overall. Um, okay, I'm going to pull the 10 inch out first. This is the one that I know of. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, it's taped shut. Uh, that's all right. I can retape it. I'm going to show you guys. This is going to be difficult. This box is massive. This is going to be a very difficult unboxing because there's not going to be anywhere to put stuff as we go. In fact, it might be, it might behoove me to take all the sorters out and then put them back into the box as we go through them here. I do like that they package this in the sorter because these 10 inch boxes, man, they come from the factory all banged up. Um, they're basically impossible to get mint. Um, so I'm glad that it came in a sorter. I was really worried about that. We're gonna try to get it out of here. Okay. Woo! All right. Look at this thing. This is Frankenberry at Icon 10 inch. I mean, it, it's undeniably cool. I mean, when they make them so massive, it's hard to, for them to not be really cool looking because the detail they can get. Um, the Count Chocula actually, where am I at? Count Chocula 10 inch was a shop exclusive. Uh, I don't know. Um, month ago maybe maybe a little bit longer um and it's also still available um but like it doesn't even fit in the frame this thing is so huge pretty cool i it's undeniably cool i i can't dispute um how cool this thing looks but again it's just not for me man so um i was happy to uh pass that on to somebody who really wanted it and um you know, kind of chip away at my um, at my outlay for this. What am I doing? Oh, I'm rolling over boxes. I gotta, I like, I feel like as soon as I got the office cleaned up, I freaking trashed it again. I've got to reorganize it. Um, you know what? Here, let's do this. Let's pull all of these out here. Let's pull all of these out. Yeah, we'll take them all out and uh, and we'll go through them this way, and that way I can be a little more organized here. Um, again, I have no idea what any of these are. There was a rumor that one of them was a Tinkerbell, but, uh, again, I don't listen to links. So no idea what we got. We've got what? 11, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. 11 more pops. Uh, this box was $200 by the way, 227 or something after tax and shipping. So without a doubt, the most expensive mystery box I've ever bought. And <sighs> I'm not a religious man, but God, I hope I don't regret it. I hope I don't take an L like I did on that um, that summer one. It was like one of our first videos. All right, let's see what we got. First box, here we go. I'm not looking. Oh, okay. 
This is, I actually knew this was coming out. I didn't know it was going to be in this box. Uh, this is what? Baseball Fury from the Warriors? Eh. I don't, I've never seen the Warriors. I really need to watch it, honestly. Um, but I've never seen it. Uh, fortunately, the box is mint. Can't be mad about that. Funko sometimes, man. Boxes come from the factory just destroyed. I've had it happen. I've had it happen. Fortunately, it was on things that I was going to open anyway, but um, I've had it happen. Okay. Next one. Here we go. These all say 2019 Cyber Monday Blind Bundle, so clearly this was the plan from the very beginning. All right, next one. Here we go. Number two. Well, number three, technically. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Okay, this is cute. All right, another ad icons. It's the Pillsbury Doughboy dressed as Santa Claus with a plate of cookies. That is... That is totes adorbs. That is totes adorbs. Love that. I don't have any ad icons. I don't think... Unless I got some in um, some mystery boxes and I just don't remember. But uh, I think these are my first ones. Pretty sure. This video is going to be a nightmare to edit because I keep having to go up and down to put stuff away and stay organized here. But that's all right. Uh, what do we got? Number four. Here we go. Ready? Oh, that is cool. That's really cool. That is, that's, I dig that. It's basically, I mean, it looks a little bit like um, Dave Batista, mostly because Dave's got a square ass head, but it's actually more of the modern comic book version of, uh, of Drax. Very cool. I'm not mad about that at all. Very, very cool. Okay. Okay. Keep in mind, if these were released uh, as individual pops, um, you know, on, on a daily regimen like everyone wants them to have done, these would be $22 shipped a piece. That was the other reason that I wanted to get the bundle because you only had to pay shipping once. The shipping for this giant box was $6.95. Because they have a, it's just a flat shipping. They charge you seven dollars no matter how many you got. I'm talking and opening. Let's see how do we do. What do we get? Oh, okay. I like the holiday theme. I'm not mad about this. We have a Huckleberry Hound with a Santa hat. This is actually voting very well for me, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because uh, I gave Taryn all of her. Um, What's that thing called? Peppermint Lane Pops. Absolutely loves them. First of all, I have to tell you guys, those Peppermint Lane Pops, they look like okay in the box, but when you take them out of the box, there's so much detail on those things. It's crazy. They are gorgeous out of the box. And she's got her whole um, Christmas town set up, and it's a combination of the pops and all the uh, Lego villages that I've gotten her over the years. Uh, they used to do, I guess they still do, but they used to be really diligent about doing these North Pole-themed uh, Lego releases right around October and I'd get them for her every year for like four or five years So she's got this huge Lego village and so now she's built out this whole like mishmash of pop culture It looks really cool um, Okay, what are we on one two three four? This is number five. I think How do we do these have all been upside down? I think Okay uh, We got the uh, Wolfpack sting version of baseball fury <laughs> You know, I actually I actually don't hate that I don't know why, but I'm amused that there's a there's a black and white crow sting and a red and black wolf pack sting um, warrior pop. That's awesome. Um, I also like those because like I'm not a fan, so I'm like, I'll, I'll probably sell those and I can sell them together. And um, I find that if you can if you can get your price point around fifty dollars, like your asking price around fifty dollars, you can usually sell it for around thirty five fifty. And whereas you'd probably only be able to sell them for like 15 bucks a piece individually. It's really weird. But I find that if you can get around 50 bucks, you can usually do better overall when you're trying to move stuff. Um, yeah. All right. Next one. Hopefully it's not another warrior popper. I'm going to kind of be, I have no idea what this is. What is this? 
Ash. Oh God. Okay, well that's that's disappointing. It's Overwatch. The Overwatch pops are like um, Fortnite pops. They're a dime a dozen. That that this is an L. This is an L. I might send this to Mr. Christopher uh, for Christmas because uh, he would enjoy it. But uh, yeah, I'm not too not too thrilled with that one. That, that's kind of an L, Funko. You gotta. You gotta let some of these franchises go. There's no those Fortnite ones. They're still making Fortnite pops, and everywhere you go, they're on clearance for like three or four dollars. Everywhere they don't sell. There's no demand for them whatsoever, at any level. You know they just they gotta stop. The Overwatch ones are barely any better. It's it's pretty brutal. All right, next one. Hopefully it's not another Overwatch, and hopefully it's not a Fortnite. I'll I'm gonna be pissed if it's Fortnite. Like I will be pissed if it's Fortnite. All right, here we go. It's Fortnite. Just kidding. Oh, that's cute. Okay. I dig the holiday theme on all of these. Oh, that's what I started to say. Is that in the event that this box never sells out and the, and there's never any value uh, on the secondary market for these, I can freaking give these to Taryn for years. Um, I've got nieces. I've got nephews. They did say in the posting that um, that they really looked at this as sort of like a pre-purchase of gifts to give to people like the kind like i don't know you just you know like the kind of people you would give well back in the day in fact i just saw what was i watching something about mcdonald's and mcdonald's gift certificates but um you know you used to get this is god i'm dating myself you used to buy like books of coupons and there'd be you know, McDonald's ones, like one free cheeseburger, one free milkshake, one free, you know, French fry, whatever the case may be. And you'd have, you know, Dairy Queen ones and it'd be like 10 blizzards. And you could just kind of give them away. You'd basically 10 coupons for 10 bucks. Um, and you could just hand them out to people. You know, you'd give them out at Halloween or you'd give them out to, you know, neighborhood kids at Christmas. You know, just something small, but, it's, you know, fun to get. Um, anyway, that's kind of how I, that's kind of how Funko has, has positioned this one's tight. Uh, that's what she said. Okay. Uh, that's how Funko has kind of positioned this uh, this box. All right, next one. Here we go. Ooh. Okay. We've got another ad icon. Not mad about this. The Icy Bear. I think that's, uh, I think that's an area that 7-Eleven always missed the boat on. They should have had a mascot for the Slurpee. Obviously, the Slurpee is superior to the Icy. But I think that um, because Icy's sort of had that mascot and sort of had that look, you know, bowling alleys, skating rinks, arcades, um, Kmart used to have sell Icy's. I remember that vividly. Uh, Icy's and Little Caesar's Pizza, I think, was what was inside Kmart's. Um, I think that just from like a, a nostalgia perspective, uh, Icy kind of has a leg up. Um, on them and they've all they were always the b team slurpee right nobody likes icy over a slurpee you know all right how what we got we got three left um we're doing okay i think we're doing okay i've liked what's been in here so far okay next item oh okay so there was a tinkerbell not mad about that at all let me pull this out of here looks like there's oh no it's just a red background uh yeah tinkerbell wearing a santa hat let's see if you can see in there a little glare there sorry about that not mad about that not mad about that at all very nice looking pop oh and um you're not gonna be able to see it but so a lot of the female pops or a lot of pops of women have a stand because they make their feet so small and tinkerbell is basically suspended on a twirl of pixie dust that goes down into a pixie dust stand. So she doesn't actually connect to the stand. The stand is part of the pop and it's it's pixie dust. So very nice touch. They may have done that with previous Tinkerbells. To be honest, I've never actually seen one close up um, just because I never cared. Uh, but uh, that's, that's super cool. I like that a lot. Um, other than the Overwatch one, I would say we're doing... They've, they've done really well. I was not into the Overwatch. But the rest of these have been really cool. So I'm very pleased. All right. Two left. Here we go. Is that upside down? What is this? 
Oh, it's a, okay, so this is a spastic plastic. This is a fun co-original. I usually really enjoy these. This one's kind of funky. I like it. So it's a Christmas bobble, right? And he's got elf shoes and he's kind of a derp. Let's see if I can get the glare off of there. I got to fix my filming situation. To give you some peek behind the curtain, um, just because the way I have my desk set up as compared to this window that's right here, my camera is on a 40 inch television that I use as a monitor. And so the glare is brutal, but I need to, uh, I need to flip these so that the glare is not so apparent. Anyway, I think a lot of people are probably going to be a little disappointed in this, but I'm not, I, I dig it. I like this one. I like the spastic plastic pops by and large. Most of them are pretty fun. These are fun co-originals. It's kind of a nod back to their roots when they were just a bobblehead company. Um, before they had any licenses, they made their own um, characters for bobbleheads. Okay, last one. What haven't we seen in here? We haven't seen any DC. Haven't seen any WWE. What other major licenses are there? Obviously, we haven't seen any Fortnite, and hopefully we don't. Um, haven't seen any Dragon Ball Z, which is kind of surprising. My Hero Academia is a big license for them. Um, and haven't seen any Christmas classics. No Christmas Story, no Grinch, no um, uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Frosty Snowman. So I'm kind of surprised by that. That seems like the kinds of things they would probably put in here. But, uh, you know, I don't know. We'll see. Last one. Here we go. Ugh. Okay. Uh, obviously a hugely popular franchise. It's a glow in the dark. It's a hologram Rick clone. I just don't like Rick and Morty. We talked about this before. I tried. Somebody, I don't remember who it was, but somebody from, ooh, there's a little bit of box damage, a little bit of ding there. Um, somebody from the Twitch days sent me a link to like a bootleg of the first two seasons. Uh, this was years ago. And I watched them and I chuckled a couple times, but by and large, I just thought the show was dumb. Um, not begrudging anybody who likes it. I don't slag anybody off. Like what you like. I just don't think it's as smart as... Um, people on the internet want to say i mean it's fine like i like dumb shows you know i watched family guy for way too many seasons i don't watch it anymore but okay hey that is the box um i think we did okay to be honest i think uh i think from a, as a collector i'm very happy with what i got there's only a couple in here that i definitely don't have any interest in and we'll we'll either give away or sell um you know i'm not other than the Drax, I think I, I think I really like the Drax. But other than that, there wasn't really anything in here that I was psyched for. Um, so I think that, you know, if the value's there, I probably will sell most of them. Um, just because I don't have any real attachment to, to any of these uh, characters or franchises. But on the flip side, half of them or over half of them are Christmas themed. So if, you know, they're not worth anything, I'm not mad because... Um, you know, we'll, we'll give them out to, like I said, nieces and nephews, and we'll put them in our Christmas display, uh, our little, our little Funko Pop town and, um, keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, let me know down in the comments. What'd you think? What's your favorite pop? This was $200. Do you think I got ripped off? Um, do you think Funko has lost it? Some people think Funko has lost it. I disagree personally because, uh, Funko is not in the, um, high-end collectibles market they're in the mass-produced plastic tchotchke market and obviously they have a personal incentive to produce and sell as many pops as they possibly can um at the same time i do think they need to produce less of them um, because with how many of them make it to clearance racks i think it does diminish your brand value um but you know that's a hard balance to strike and a conversation uh for another day uh probably offline because that's going to be a nuanced one um I'm, I'm not mad. I'm honestly not. Uh, I I was a little worried when this pop did or this box didn't sell out. I was a little worried by all the negative comments around it. Um, they did say that it was going to be all new pops and and uh, and it wasn't going to be you know uh, a warehouse clear out. But in the back of my mind, I was a little bit concerned about um, you know about getting kind of let down again like we did in the last one. But not at all. Fun co. For me, two thumbs up. Very happy with this uh, this box. And I think I'm very happy that they sold it as a, a bundle. Uh, I think it's 
I think it was the right way to go, uh, at least for me. So, all right, that's this one. We got a couple more of these Cyber Monday boxes. Not the Funko one. I only bought one of these. But we got some more mystery boxes coming um, here in the next couple of days. Actually, they should be here literally today, tomorrow, and the next day. So over the next couple of days, those are the videos you're going to be seeing. Um, appreciate you guys. Uh, once again, let me know what you thought. Um, anything stand out to you? What's your feelings on Funko? Um, both good and bad. And um, yeah, we'll see you next time.